Yeah, so don't be nervous. Um, okay, so what was your name again? Okay, so my name is Katie. Katie, where are you from? I'm originally from um, the south suburbs, Oil Park, Illinois. Illinois, and how did you get here? Um, so I was in the south suburbs, and then um, I was introduced to hair. First I was introduced to like opiates and pills, and then eventually that kind of like ran out, and then like heroin became available, which I didn't, I knew nothing about addiction. I didn't know like you could get addicted. I remember the first time I went through withdrawal, like I didn't even know what was happening. I thought I had the flu. Yeah. So it's kind of it's scary, you know. I've been in a lot of scary situations where I like, kind of thought I was invisible, but yeah. If you don't mind me asking, how do you like ensure your safety? For what do you mean? Like how do you just make sure you're safe and like? Like sleeping out here or like using um, drugs? In general, uh, like just general safety. I, I'm thinking more in the context of other people, but I guess yeah, in any way. Cool. In the city. Okay, so um, I do have a friend out here who I met in sober living a long time ago. Um, he's letting me stay with him. He's still kind of using. So I stay with him, but he lives on the south side, which is I do not go home at night there because it's a long walk from the red line to where he lives. But there's times where like, I'm standing out here, I get a lot of like gross guys saying a lot of dirty stuff to me. I've had guys pull up and be like, oh, come here, I got some money for you. Here, look here, it's right here. And like, you look in and their pants are pulled down. And I'm like, get the fuck out. Like, I'm not like a prostitute. Like, I'm not, like, this is not, no, this is not what it's, no. So I do get a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, I do like, I do get robbed a lot, but not, not physically hurt, but I get robbed, I get robbed. I mean, there's no point to fight back against a man, I'm not gonna win. So, like, yeah, but. At night usually, or? The one time it was during the day. It was like, literally during the, I was like walking down the west side and like, I put my purse on the ground, cause like, you, you like, when you go west, you don't open your purse at all. Like you hide your phone, you hide everything. If someone asks you like, what time it is? I don't know, I don't have a phone. Cause the second you pull it out, they grab it and they run, so like, my dumbass put my purse on the floor for a second and I was with my guy friend that I was telling you guys about and like for some reason I don't know why but like I put like the money just right next to my purse he runs by grabs it and just fucking takes off and it was like it was like 60 bucks but it was like I mean it's, it's like, like come on man like uh, it, just, it sucks but I mean it's kind of what comes with it you know and then you got like cops who kind of like harass you, like just to, like fuck with you. Like, if you go out on the west side, they'll, they'll pull over sometimes and they'll be like, get in the car, I'll take you to dinner. And I'm like, you set me up? Like, are you gonna have to search me? Is that why? Like, I don't, under it makes no sense. Wait, like a cop will say a that? A cop, yeah, like an actual, like a white, not like an undercover. This happened to me three times already. Um, like, yeah, like a, the cops like actually in the blue and white car, so like you know they're a cop will pull over and they'll like see that we're white in the, the neighborhood on the west side and they'll be like oh you guys hungry do you want me to take you to get some food but we always we're like no because I, it doesn't make sense you know what I mean like I don't understand what are you trying to do are you trying to get information from us are you if we say yes are you going to have to search us and then we all of a sudden say no and then now you know we have shit you know what I mean like it just kind of doesn't make sense yeah, that is weird. What do you think their like intentions are with that? Who I think what? Their like intentions are with that. See, I don't know. Like what my one friend said was that like because of the whole like Black Lives Matter movement, they think that they're trying to get the cops to to like be friendly and be good again. But why would you be asking white people then? Why wouldn't you be asking black people? You know what I mean? Like I literally thought I was invincible. Like I thought like cool, I'll get my dope. You know, like drug dealers. They don't fuck with you, they just want your money, and that's it, you're gone. And so I went, um, they serve like dope on like, should I, should I say where is it? Was it? Okay, it's on Jackson, and they like stand behind a gate. And so, um, it was dark, and um, I hand the dude my money, and all of a sudden I hear, pow, 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 and like, I've never heard gunshots before, so like, I don't, like, I've heard them from far away, but like, I think like, like fireworks, or I don't know, something. And um, this, uh, the guy I was with fucking just pulled me and grabbed me and started running. 
the dude came up right behind me from the alley and started shooting. Like, I don't think he, he didn't mean to shoot me, but I was right in the vicinity of where they were trying to shoot the guy. So, after that, I was like, this shit's That's like, fucking whoa. terrifying. It Jesus. is, right? And, like, when you go out there and you see, like, like, literally, like, 11, 12-year-olds, like, holding machine guns, like, kind of, like, blocking doors on, like, the balcony, like, a security, like, it's fucked up. Like, those are kids, like, What would you say are the hardest parts about staying outside or sleeping outside? Probably, I mean, this, usually I'm out, like, sometimes I go to, like, the guy's house I was telling you about that's all the way, like, 79 to the south side, but, like, if we leave here at, at like, midnight, it's, 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 there's no point, and then we come back, like, it's so, it's like you get two hours of sleep, so staying out here, it's like, like, my friend, he's had, he, like, he took off his shoes to like take a nap or whatever because it's hot one day like in the park and took off his shirt woke up all this stuff was gone and like he called me and he goes um, I need your help I need to borrow some money can you meet me like here at Clark whatever Target and I met him at Target and he's fucking like almost naked and I, I was like embarrassed like I didn't want to stand next to him I was like what the hell were you doing like, I didn't believe him at first but he goes I literally woke up and they steal all my shit. And like, yeah, and then so finally, eventually, I, I, yeah, like, I hear a lot, of, a lot of people get their shit stolen. But how would you want to steal someone's dirty ass shoes? It's like, just to be an asshole, you know? Like it. Yeah. It's fucked up. It's so like theft and probably the hardest part. Yeah, that was what I don't like. That the, the pointless shit too. Like I understand if you're hungry, you're starving, and you need to like steal or whatever. But like that's why like. I'll go into places around here and I'll be like, do you guys have anything you're going to throw out? Or like, grub hub stuff that no one picked up. And like, a lot of people, they say yeah, and they help you out. So, I mean, if you just fucking ask people, like you ask for help, a lot of people, mostly, a lot of people will help you. Yeah, thank you. I hope I answered all your questions. I feel bad. Like No, you did a great job.